Hello, and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for some more racing. And I think we are starting somewhere over... I don't know where we're going. Are we racing around the boat? Or have we found our way onto... Uh, oh, we found our way onto one of the islands, yes. This is where we're going <laughs> to... Uh, apparently so. Uh, unfortunately, we can't actually get onto the boat. But, uh, yes, we've got some more of the tuna vehicles for you. This is the Remus, essentially a... was S13 Sylvia. Uh, no idea if the car is any good. Never driven it before. Oh, nearly. Nearly sent a danger man off the circuit. Uh, I think we're doing this kind of slow and steady jump start going on. Although, <laughs> we, we, me and Level 8 kind of had the momentum, but I had to get back on the circuit rather sharpish because I was going to miss a checkpoint. Uh, these do not look like bump drafting is a good idea, judging by what happened to Bumpy. And you and just almost slid off the circuit. Uh, am I clear? Yeah, we're clear to go try and find a draft off somebody. Gliska will... Oh, that sketchy corner. <laughs> That's a dangerous corner and a half. Right there. Um, that, yeah, blind crest into... Uh, see, the blind crest into a sudden stop is fine if you're driving around on your own. If you're further back and have got a massive slipstream tow, that becomes a lot more of a dangerous corner. You're going to have to bear that one in mind. Oh! Hello, Ewan. I mean... Uh, <laughs> I didn't really have much control of my vehicle in that one. I was... Uh, yeah, didn't realise you was going to be there. This wasn't quite the space at the end of it. And when we hit the central reservation part, we got spun back around anyway. So, amazingly, no one else kind of collected us in that one. Ladder did a good job of avoiding my spinning orange machine. Oh, whoa, we're very wide. Oh, that was close. <laughs> you definitely don't want to uh, tempt fate too much on that one. Uh, Someone's falling in the drink at that point. I can sense it. Uh, hopefully not me. I'm normally not too bad at doing the... Uh, kind of run wide and run out of, run off area and fall in the water. I, I mean, I'm sure I've done it a few times. Uh, everyone has when we drive these sort of circuits. Normally not too bad at that. Uh, where are we going? I mean, I know this road. It's how much of the circuit is actually going to use the road and how much you're going to have a custom... You know, piece of track, scoop it off. Uh, I've got anywhere to go here. I've got a lot of, again, got momentum, but nowhere to really go with it. Oh, and Longbow's in the back of level 8, and level 8 gets put back around again to point the right way. We are to the lead of the race. I think Longbow actually came off worse in all of that. Uh, probably got collected by somebody. Again, this is a difficult one. At points when you kind of commit to a corner and turns out, ah, there's already been a crash there. Oh, and there's a big... Okay, there's a big run to the finish line here. That is going to be interesting. That is going to be an interesting... Uh, yeah, you're going to have to be a long way out in front on your own if you're going to make it. Oh, there's a gap there. <laughs> okay, these can seem to push, actually. Yeah, these are these are fine with a bit of, uh, a bit of the old bump drafting. That could also play a factor in the run to the finish line. I mean, it's useful to know. Um, you know, of course you can still spin with them, but the light contact doesn't often seem to end with the violent spin. So, that is good news. Always like racing cars like that. You, just, you get better racing because tiny contact isn't punished, and you do have the potential for some teamwork. Uh, it's very rare. Like I, I talk about it a lot with these. It is rare that a race comes down to teamwork at the finish line, but we have seen it happen. And it's useful to know that a vehicle is capable of doing it, so that if it is the run to the line, uh, and you haven't got any other options, that the pushing the car ahead isn't going to lead to a huge wreck. I mean, it, it might, is always a ri even with well-behaved cars, is always a risk, but... Uh, yeah, sometimes that risk is, is lesser than others, basically. Uh, I backed out of that because I didn't really know quite where cars were going to go, and I could have been a lot braver, but uh, we kind of played it a little bit safe. We're going to lose... I'm going to... Well, I say I'm going to yield. We are going to then get a better run through the mid part of that. Oh, and then we get a bucket load of understeer. And so kind of all, all of the uh, the losses and gains, it kind of just evened itself out. This is kind of a quick circuit, this. It's quick and a little bit sketchy just because the road is quite bumpy. Oh, that's a horrifically nasty crash. <laughs> Uh, yeah, outside down there is dangerous, as uh, Gliska found out. There's a railing there. 
was an Elko barrier that doesn't move, and I didn't ended up in a fence. At least that fence, that fence would have cost me time, but it would have moved at least. Yeah, that Elko barrier is mean. Do not mess with it. All uh, right, now we're going to head around. See, the, the run to the finish line is so long that I feel that if you take the lead here, you would be in danger of losing it. Yeah, uh, you might be, but you could also curb boost it a little bit. Hmm. I think like. I feel like we could come up, I could come up with a million different plans into different scenarios, and whatever you face on the final lap is going to be different again. Like, you might get away with a sneaky bit of curb boosting, you might be further back and have a huge toe. Uh, go on, Danger Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, so bump drafting is totally possible with these. Because um, we, we, we saw that everything was all quite even. I mean, us pushing Danger Man with a bump draft was quicker than level 8 curb boosting. That is interesting to know. You've still got to do that bump draft right, and the reason, the only reason I, the bump draft stopped is I'd started, I wasn't central in the back of Danger Man's car, so that was that's that's when you then really start risking spinning someone. So we just backed out of it. Um, that again, useful information to know. It, 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 with these races, with the way we work these, it's almost like a five laps learning of what to do on the final lap, kind of. So we, well, we're expecting it to be close. It might not come down to being close at the end. Sometimes that does happen. Uh, you know, there's a crash somewhere and you can escape just far enough away that you're out of range. Uh, you're always kind of hopeful of that one. Less stressful when it gets down to that sort of a stage. Oh, that was really close to me wiping out on the wall. I don't know whether we brushed it or not. I don't think... If we didn't brush it, that was going to be like a millimetre away. Ah, oh, it was close. Uh, and if, because if I had hit that, the speed and angle I would have hit that at was not going to be good times for me. Uh, we are down to three cars with us. I'm not sure what happened to Lado and Level 8. I think they were the other two. We've got Longbow and Danger Man still with us here. Now, I mean, we're on our own. I'm not going to go around the outside of a car there. I am going to hang to the outside here, because I know we're about to head up towards some debris or some, I don't know, barriers, barricade, whatever the hell those things are. Uh, and they will slow you down a little bit. Longbow wants to go around the outside. That's fine. How much... Oh, Danger Man got in trouble, and I'm not quite sure how Danger Man got in trouble there, but did. How much can I do with curb boosting down here? Oh, bloody hell, Glisk has turned up with an almighty shove! <laughs> there you go. I mean, Glisk would never do that on the run to the finish, uh, but that's the power of the bump draft there, if you want it to uh, amply demonstrate it. These are actually really good for bump drafting. Uh, these might be some of the most effective cars we've seen for it. I mean, you're still faster if you can and if you've got space uh, to do this, to actually... Ooh, okay, Gliska was on the brakes really early there. Uh, I know why we're being careful at that corner. Uh, I think I got a little bit scared about it on the first lap, a little bit more than was perhaps necessary. Uh, but everyone was being careful there. But yeah, these are actually one of the best cars I've come across for contact. I say that now and I know we're going to get screwed on the run to the finish line in a weird GTA collision. But yeah, these might be one of the best vehicles I have seen because we've been we've had big hits and we've got away with it. Proper bump drafting is working, um, so yeah, that's that's promising. Ewan's turned up, so I've got nowhere to go, so I might as well just push Gliska's car forward because I couldn't go left because Ewan was there, I couldn't go right because Danger Man's there. So my only option is to just yeah push the car ahead. Oh. And again, here I can't go to the right, the left is the edge of the circuit, so we'll push. I mean, these are probably worth oval racing, potentially. And the, uh, the bump drafting at... Ooh. Uh, the bump drafting that we were doing there is not as spectacularly effective. It's the sort of big runs that can, uh, can be helpful. We've got a little bit more of a, a closing distance, if you like, between cars, uh, but still. Yeah, that's not, I didn't expect that from this car at all. I would never expect that to, to be what I was saying about it, but here we are. Uh, we, we've learned to be wary around that corner. I've got a great run to the outside. I've got no slipstream, though. This is going to want to go up on the curb and does. Ewan gets away with all of that. Somehow we've made that work. We've kind of swamped Ewan a little bit. Ewan probably won't mind because he knows there's a big run to the finish line here. Uh, oh, no! Oh, oh bugger. So, yeah, well, they're, they're good for contact. That sort of a contact is still not... Uh, you're not going to get away with that. I was kind of... Just, I think it was... A, I was expecting Gliska to go more to the right. I guess Gliska was expecting me to go more to the left. And 
once the cars were stuck together, we couldn't pull them apart in time. I don't think he's actually going to make... Well, we're going to certainly be back in the fight. Hopefully, Gliska will be as well. Uh, we've got a huge tow down here. Uh, we'll just curb boost our way down there. Uh, now, we're up there over the crest. Yeah, you can actually be quite a lot later on the brakes than you realise there. I was still a little bit early. You and you was playing it cautiously because of the draft. I also played it. Well, I thought I was playing it normally, but also was actually a bit cautious. You and still going to look around the outside there. Uh, that's fine. Now this does mean that any runs from behind are likely to lead to a push, although it has now opened up. Although it's got really busy behind. Me and you had managed to make a gap. It's absolutely packed with cars. This may well come down to a uh, push to the line because it might well be about six wide. Uh, a little bit of contact, again, we get away with it. Here comes Stevie and Danger Man, Gliska's back in it, level 8's caught up to the group. Everybody's here. Oh, Gliska and Stevie got connected, we're going to just go around the outside. I'm just trying to avoid that mess, which we get through nicely. We're going to get a good run down here. I don't want to go side by side. This There's really only one line nicely through here. It's bumpy and slidey. It's not worth the risk. Danger Man gets a kick of oversteer. I mean, there's a little bit le there's a little bit more commitment from everybody at this point in the race. Uh, I kind of don't want to hit the curbs too hard. I mean, this car has been, as I said, it, it is amazingly good on contact. It's a tiny, it will oversteer a tiny bit, but it's nothing horrific, uh, really. Uh, we're gonna just sort of sit and bide our time through this section. Oh no! Oh no! It's gone. And there's no recovery from that. <laughs> Uh, can we re-emerge safely? We can, but... Oh, I just ever so slightly got it wrong through there. And we just got a tiniest little bit of oversteer, and in trying to gather it back up... Oh, that's too fast through there. Uh, yeah, in just trying to gather it back up, we clicked the back of Danger Man's car and got spat into a wall. Yeah, oh, I'm gutted. We had such a good race for so long in that. And with a few quarters to go, just lost it. Oh. Yeah. Bugger. <laughs> that car surprises me, I will say. That car surprises me. Uh, that is, yeah, really good for the bump draft. Kind of a shame we weren't involved with see what the run to the finish line was. I think Danger Man got the victory in the end of that. Just a pretty good go. I think it was a little bit more spread out uh, further back. Um, but, uh, yeah, Danger Man did take victory in the end. It was very, very close. It was very close at the front. Three tenths of a second covered a bunch of cars. Ah, bugger! I'm, I'm gutted a little bit on that one, but it was it was a great race up until that point. So we're on to our second race. We have the Comet S2. It is going to be a wet start to the race. It was absolutely pouring down in the loading screen. I was kind of half hoping for a wet start to the uh, or a wet race because they can be quite entertaining on this uh, on this game, but uh, not quite the case it would seem. Uh, not not during the, the Comet S2. No idea what this vehicle is going to be like uh, around here. Uh, hopefully, I'm not going to end up in trouble. Oh, dear. At the, that was already a lot of cars wide. I'm sorry, <laughs> Stevens can't vanish. I'm sorry. We were already like three wide. It was ambitious going to the outside of that. Oh, Bumpy's turned up. Let's go back and point the right way. There we go. Uh, ah, no. God, dear. How do we stay on the track? That... That I probably shouldn't have survived, if I'm honest with you. That was, uh, that was not good. That was not good. That was very much a brown pants moment. Oh, bumpy hello. <laughs> that was uh, all of the speed that we could, that's uh, all the speed that we could impart into bumpy. I just had nowhere to go in that. I guess it kind of, we got bumpy going again and it didn't cost us too much. It's not been a great start, but there is plenty of time to try and catch up to the pack here, and I'm sure we will. This track, as far as catch-up goes, this track is relatively powerful on. There are some long straights. Uh, the, the, there's, there's three things with a catch-up in, in GTA. So you've got the catch-up that physically slows the leader car down. You've got the slipstream that when you're close to the car ahead, of course, it's pulling you forward. And then you have the sort of extra catch-up effect of a big pack of cars fighting for position. As the cars are fighting, they're taking funky lines. You're attacking, you're defending, you're two and three wide, and you are just physically much slower in a corner, because you can't carry the same amount of speed side by side as you can if you're on your own. And now this this works when it's the leader involved. At the moment we've got the, the case where second, 
third, fourth, fifth, all of us lot are fighting and the leader's actually on their own, so that catch-up effect is not actually being applied quite to the leader, but yeah, this this track I should think will we'll, we'll, we'll catch back up in a not too much time. Uh, we got a little nick from Lado, just a tiny bit of oversteer for us, but uh, it'll be fine. We'll get a little bit of curve boosting down the start-finish straights as well, if we can. Uh, or wherever we can, a little bit there. Uh, should put us to the inside. I think we're going to be flat through there. We are. Uh, Lado may drop back and try and slingshot, which I'm more than happy to be accommodating with. So, I mean, normally I would go and curb boost. I don't want to. In this instance, we're actually better off letting Lado go, and then we'll get the draft, and then we can try and sort of uh, slingshot it. It's not quite worked. Ooh, 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 I'm really glad. Really glad Lado's car pinged that far, because, again, I was on the throttle, committed to the corner, and I'd used all of my grip. Unfortunately, we then got a bit of a slide. Uh, heading on to the motorway. Oh, cars couldn't separate. No! Sorry, Ewan. Oh, no! Put you on the wrong side! I'm really sorry. I don't know whether you can get back over this way. Uh, yeah. That was, uh, it was a little bit of a, little bit of a narrow place. But, once that car's in the rear corner, I can't so, Lado's got the front corner stuck in the back of mine, and that's twisting my car to the right, which is in turn continuing the crash. And I can't steer my car anymore to the left because it's physically being turned that way. So we're kind of just stuck making that crash worse. The only way you can stop it is the car uh, that's slightly further behind is to go on the brakes, but even then it doesn't instantly stop it. So, you, yeah. <laughs> it was just... A, a bad place for that, and I've had a silly mistake of my own, and now we're... Oh, we've gone round, and Lado's gone round. <laughs> okay, the... You see, I expected the Rebus or whatever it was to be a lot worse on the bumps. I expected that to drive kind of like this is. This is sort of quick, but then you hit a bump and... kind of spins. Get sudden oversteer. This is... Yeah, not... Perhaps not the car for the circuit, shall we say. Uh, because it's a little sensitive to the to the buttons. Well, you know, maybe not a surprise. It's much more of a, it's a supercar. Uh, I mean, what is it supposed to be? A 911, essentially, a, a more modern one. But yeah, gotta gotta be very very aware of what this car is like over the bumps. Now, what we got? We're kind of coming up towards half distance ish. Can we recover in time? It might be possible. As I said, this track is not too bad in terms of catch-up. Uh, we've got a group of cars, so if we can do this cleverly, we can maybe work together. Uh, let's get on the brakes. Or we'll fight each other into oblivion. That is also the, you know, the alternative, is we just fight each other uh, and lose all of the time in the world. Oh, don't end up understeer. Like that, so there, for example, that's how we lose time is that we got a little bit of understeer on the way to that corner. Now, I'd be fine to go full throttle through there, or be fine to carry the speed I was trying to carry, had there not been Stevie in the way. Uh, well, yes, of course, it helps having cars around for the slipstream. There are times when it doesn't help. Uh, either way, I can see the leaders, at least. That is progress. Ewan's going for some curve boosting. Uh, see, that... When we're this far back, I'm more inclined to let cars slingshot behind me. If we're in the lead group, is a different story, but at this, at this point in the race, uh, That's how, how I will tend to be. I'm always keen to work together with cars to go forward. I don't care about sixth place. I want to be fighting for the lead. So I'd rather work together at this juncture and swap between sixth and eighth uh, and hope that we bring ourselves to the front and fight. And yeah, if it's the final lap, it's a different story. But yeah, I, I, I do tend to do the race with some teamwork. And we've actually pulled clear. I think Bumpy might have been in a difficult position from that crash. We got there at the right time to get through cleanly. We will have to wait and see. I mean, we're actually, yeah, they're, they're starting to really fight over the lead. So this might not be too bad for me if I don't wreck it myself, which we have done. Trying to carry speed on a funky angle. Ow, oh, I beans it up. I thought I, I shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have tried to go to the inside. I thought I could be sneaky. I thought I could do a little bit of curb boost. And I just didn't. Oh, God's sake. That's really stupid. Although I say that, there has been a big crash up ahead. Uh, oh, no, there's been some missed checkpoints up ahead. That's what's gone on there between cars. Well, I presume there was a crash that led to the missed checkpoints. Still really stupid of me. Uh, I should never have put my car there. Uh, 
was trying to be clever. I thought I could find a way to make some lap speed just to get a little closer to the lead group. Unfortunately, I did not. Uh, I think there is a line through there that could be a little quicker, but it's not worth the risk if, when things go wrong, that happens. Oh, that was nearly disastrous for me. We're going to get a big toe all the way down here. Oh, <laughs> I think Lado went to give me the outside. I was trying to get my car across to the inside and hit some bumps and just didn't get my car positioned where I wanted it to be. Uh, we're up to four. We might amazingly not be out of this, you know. We've got one more lap. We do. We might not be entirely out of this. Somehow, despite that stupid error by me, the leaders are really busy fighting one another. So, yeah, this might not be entirely game over. That is such a sketchy... It's, it's a fun section of track. Like... When I say sketchy, I don't mean poorly designed. I mean sketchy as in challenging. And if you get it wrong, you're having a really terrible accident um, through there because it's so bumpy and the walls are at such an angle. Uh, you can't really sort of straight line it comfortably full throttle because the bumps will get you or something will get you. And yeah, we're nearly here in the fight now. So I don't know how that's happened. Um, yeah, after my massive screw up last lap around, I probably shouldn't be here, but we are. Uh, so yeah, they're taking that line. I just got it a little... I, I think I just carried way more speed than I was expecting. Oh, we're going to go... How on earth did we make that one stop? <laughs> did that almost work? And it has worked. It's an overtake. That was not supposed to happen. I was in the bushes. I was barely in control of my car. And we shot through all of that. I mean, we've been spat out. Why couldn't this be the final lap? Uh, we're doing the weave to the... Yeah, if that'd be the final lap, that would be the most ridiculous comeback win imaginable. Right, one lap to go. We're in the fight at the front. I don't know how, but we are. Oh, Ninetales is there. Uh, Ninetales is there. Ninetales is to the lead. Uh, we're trying to get this. I mean, it's going to the inside, and they're running the risk of falling off, and Lado's turned up. Lado dives to the inside. I was not expecting... I thought I looked back and didn't see anything else going to be close enough, but Lado got a huge toe. Bumpy's with us as well. It's six cars for the lead at the moment. Uh, well, how is this one going to play out? Bumpy is to the inside. We're going to give space. There's a reason why I gave space, because we saw Bumpy understeer up towards the wall. Uh, that is why you give space. Oh. God, now Ninetales and Level 8 have just pulled the gap. Purple Car's turned up as well as Stevie. Uh, we've just started squabbling over third, and that has cost us a big gap to the leaders. I feel like this track, as soon as you start fighting for positions, it's four wide down this straight. Bumpy's up to third. Uh, can we cut back underneath? We can. I had to jump on the brakes mid-corner because we were going up in the door of Bumpy. We did tag the back of the pink car only a little bit. It's got to be single file through here. It wasn't for the cars ahead. We got pushed into that corner by Longbow, uh, who I don't think was expecting me to slow down as much as we did through there. Uh, I, could, I saw the crash going on, and I knew I didn't want to be involved in it. I don't think Long, the Longbow, to be fair, may well be being pulled forward by the slipstream at that point. I think... Uh, I think it's Ninetales may well have got this one in the bag at this point. Bumpy's up to second uh, as Level 8 made a mistake. Or oh, always bumped, I don't know, didn't see it. Uh, has fallen back into this little group. Oh, we've got a great run, but there's not a gap I'm putting my car in. We've already seen trouble go on around here. Oh, we've seen lots of trouble go on around here. Uh, right, slow it down. We've got a couple more corners to go here. It is Ninetales who leads. Can anybody get a big enough draft? Ninetales will just curb boost it, I think, to the finish line here. Uh, we are not going to get a good run. Longbow's got the run for second. Yeah, we'll dump level 8 off the podium, and I think level 8 ends up fifth in all of that. That's unlucky. Longbow had the run to get me. We stayed on, you know, on the podium. We stayed with the third place. Longbow got both of us, yeah. Ninetales, right place in that one. Um, and that was a very, very classic... Um, Wait. How did we end up second? Did Longbow miss? Oh, Longbow must have missed a checkpoint. That's how we ended up second. Bumpy gets on the podium. Uh, yeah, Longbow must have missed a checkpoint, and that runs the line with a big toe. Um, yeah, that confused the crap out of me for a second. Ninetales, yeah, got that exactly right. We had a hu we caught the lead group, and then we had a huge fight over third and they just built this massive margin it only took them a few corners and that huge squabble over third it was enough just to drop us back but uh ah uh, there we go that was good fun that, that was a very very good fun 
at race with the comments, even if they got a bit sketchy on the bumps. And how I got back into that fight, I don't know. I really shouldn't have, because, uh, yeah, I was a bit dumb. But there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and thank you to Revs for building that wonderful track. That shall be it from me. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.